Hi everyone, welcome to Hi. the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Hi, yeah. <laughs> back again. Karen's back again. We love having her in the kitchen, so get those thumbs up. You know you love having her here. Always great fun, fabulous molds. And I don't know how she does it, but they always look freaking amazing. And they are achievable, which is brilliant. So Karen will tell you all her hints and tips about her molds. So while you're pulling together, I'm just going to say hello to Laura and Shelley who are in the kitchen tonight. Hi. <laughs> Shelley's stressed out of her head with this new oh, equipment. Oh, right. <laughs> Isn't she stressed? <laughs> oh, it's the heat. It's the heat. We're all stressed. And we're, heat. And we're all dying. We've been deodorant <laughs> and to go in there. We're like, oh, we need some more on. It's absolutely boiling. Mm -hmm. You are going to hear the traffic outside a lot. Unfortunately, because we need the door open. So it's either that or the fan. But I'm going to plug in the fan in a minute just to see if we can get a bit of a quieter noise on that one. So, Laura, who's joining us tonight? Um, I'm just jumping on. You'll have to bear with me because I'm doing it on the phone tonight. It's a bit different. <laughs> um, so as you're all aware, we've got a little bit of a new setup if you've been watching over the past couple of weeks. Um, but we love having you all here. I'll just run through my usual spiel while I'm waiting. Okay. Um, so, um, the Facebook Live is in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen and all we say is what happens here in, in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen stays in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Um, Karen's doing a fantastic variety of all the different malls this evening. So anything that you want to purchase from us will be available directly from the Sugar and Crumbs website. Um, so you can head over to the website, you can search by brand, which is Karen Davies, or you can head over to the right hand side and shop via the Facebook Live wish list. Um, if you miss any of the live this evening or you can't stay for the whole session, you can catch up when we're finished. It will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page and then it's also on YouTube as well. Um, so you can always catch up. Um, anyone who sees um, Shelley dotting around the kitchen this evening, um, Shelley's fil filming the footage for the one minute videos that's also going on to YouTube. So you'll see all these brilliant little one minute videos and again all the prior, um, previous Facebook lives and the one minute videos relating to them are also on there as well. Um, so yeah, hi to everyone that's watching. I still can't get any names at the moment, but I will keep trying and I will say hi to everyone in a few minutes. <laughs> yes, so with our new setup, we can actually um, go live in the group. We can go live on YouTube. But we basically, we're just going to keep it to two, to two, actually. We're just going to keep it on the page because it caused a bit of confusion last week. People didn't know where we were because they could find us everywhere, but they weren't quite sure. So hello, Facebookers and hello, YouTubers. <laughs> we've got a really good audience. We're over 150 Aww. already. And we're still growing. Fantastic. Um, so we've got Tina Pine, we've got Paula Brown, we've got Marilyn Heald, Chris Geel. Um, so anyone that's new to watching the Facebook Live, just say hi and introduce yourself. Um, we're a really friendly bunch. Um, we do try and keep the comments relevant to the Facebook feed that's happening this evening. Um, just because the feed moves so quickly, obviously we want to try and get everyone's questions answered. But if we do miss anything, we'll try and catch up later on in the week for you. Good. Well done, I thought you were going to say a bit more then. Sorry. Well, I was waiting. <laughs> no, I believe I was. Concentrating. I waited for a minute. Oh. So, yes, so welcome to the kitchen here at Sugar and Crumbs. As Laura said, everything is on the wish list, everything is on the website. If some of you have joined us and you're not part of our Facebook community group, please pop over there and join the community group. It's called Sugar and Crumbs, all about cake community. We've actually had the group now for over 18 months. We've been doing Facebook Lives now for over two and a half years, which is fantastic. The group is fantastic. It's very friendly. There's lots of help and support. The only thing we ask you to do is re respect the fact that it is a Sugar and Crumbs group. We really don't want any other sellers on there trying to sell their goods. It would be nice if they asked my permission first, but they never do so we'd rather you didn't do it okay <laughs> so um it's mainly when people ask what the group is about it's about how did you make the cake you know how did you roll out the icing how did you do that it's not really something for supporting um sending out links to amazon or ebay or anything like that we just want to keep it within the sugar and crumbs group within their products and you know enjoy the group it's all about learning how to make cake and decorate cake so do pop over there and join invite your friends if you wish to um, and the next thing we ask you to do is be nice um, be nice all the time to each other there's no reason to be nasty the group is for all levels it's for newbies dare I say the word hobby bakers no I don't <laughs> but it's for newbies it's for people who bake once a year it's for people who bake twice a week and it's for the professionals it's for everyone and um, there's a couple of comments this weekend that some people felt a bit shy about putting their cakes on don't feel shy because believe me we all started but now I've been sorting out tidying up I found like a wallet of the first cakes I ever made 
just unbelievably <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> They're just terrible. I think that's where we are. You know, you should have brought them now. <laughs> yeah, but I loved it. I used to make cakes when I was a young girl, when I was 26, and it was only Royal Icing then. Mm. And I used to go to night school for two hours every week. Just There wasn't all the equipment no, either. No, there was the nothing. Things. I used to make everything by hand. And, and there was just no sugar paste and... then. No, I used to make no molds. Used to make yeah, no exactly, no molds, no sugar base. You used to learn how to make a Victoria sure sponge. Sure how old we are. I know, exactly. A Victoria <laughs> sponge, a Madeira cake, a chocolate oh. cake, and then how to royal ice it. And uh, <laughs> mine was usually rock hard. I broke the kids' teeth. But <laughs> I've still got pictures of those. I must dig them out, actually, because mm -hmm. I have got them. It'd be funny. Oh, I'll bring sugar. them next time. Yeah. I will. So <laughs> the group is about sharing and enjoying. And we don't expect high expectations here. What we want you to do is make some Something that's nice and tasty for your family that's all that matters and you know what it, um the grandkids they grow up don't they the children growing up and it doesn't matter how nice your cake is they always love grandmas mm -hmm. don't yeah. they they yeah. do don't yeah. they yeah. i can't remember my grandma used to make fairy cakes yeah yeah and it didn't matter if we stuck the wheels yeah. in upside down no. either no <laughs> so how are we doing laura wonderful we're, we're touching about 200 i think at the moment and um, just just over right. so yeah audience is growing really nicely fantastic i thought they'd all be away on holiday yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. G and t in the garden or something. Yeah. Yeah. we do have loyal ones who follow us we do away. so um karen is going to start off with this tonight now this is actually on a cake and it's quite interesting shelly just pass this that board over there for me please that marion frost did the other week which one uh, 60 that's it 60 on it okay when we show you on a board okay it's not that we want you to decorate the board it saves us doing a cake so whenever you see things like that when people come in and show you it's just so that they give you an idea for the top of your cake for inspiration and we're going to use a board tonight for exactly the same thing karen did it for where's it passes that other board there behind you shelly behind you shelly oh gosh yeah behind you shelly down there to the left oh, at the one. bottom that's it. Behind you. So she goes sideways. It's behind you. There's a big shelf. So like last time Karen was here, she did this one. Okay. Now we did this on a board as well. In fact, I can actually stick it under there. Yeah. So she, Karen did this on a board as well. Now, again, it's not for a board. It's actually for the top of a cake. It was an idea. So whenever you see any of the um, tutors come in and show you on top of a board, it's just to save us decorating a cake or a dummy cake, yeah, isn't yeah. it? That's yeah. all it's for, mm -hmm. really. So I'll give you a close-up of that one as well. Yeah, can you see that one okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do this one on the on the board as well. So when you all think what a shame, I just the reason I'm pointing it out is somebody said what a shame to have to put a cake on it. Well, we don't want you to put a cake <laughs> no, on no, it. No, it's no, the no, top no, of the no. cake. <laughs> we so do get okay. quite a lot of people who do the bigger boards and then use cupcakes in the middle or around yeah, the outside yeah, of the decorations. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which is but a the way it's been decorated is the whole yeah, of the, the whole yeah, of the cake. Yeah, so I'll give you that idea. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get you started first. Yes. So just yeah. before we do get you started. Was this okay? Oh, sugar. Nearly took the coffee with me. <laughs> I'm on sweet stamp duty. So um, Karen's doing the Karen's doing the um, decorations, and then I'm going to be putting the sweet stamps. And we're going to use the sugar and crumbs font. The sugar and crumbs font has just arrived back in stock today. I know we're out of stock of quite a few of the stamps, but basically Amy is building a palette for me. So we're hoping that that palette's going to be released at the end of this week. So it'll be in next week because. We have some terrible trouble getting stuff from Ireland. Yeah, really? Absolutely, yeah. Nyla. You want you want yeah. we can get stuff from anywhere we, else in the we, world. We but we can't get it. But we can't get it from Ireland. It's a yeah. nightmare. Yeah. It's supposed to be a two to three day delivery mm. and it takes a week and gets lost and then turns up two weeks later. Mm. So we've decided to buy a pallet full of stuff at a time. Yeah, I do not yeah. want to tell you what the bill is going to be. It's mm. very scary. But anyhow, so I'm waiting for that to come in. So that's why stocks are low at the moment. But the exclusive stamps are in, so we're going to use those. So I'm going to get you to get the ball rolling, Karen. Okay. Laura, right. do you want to show out anything? Okay. I know, it's all right. Go for it. <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to start with making a peony, okay, from the peony mould. This mould has been out quite a few years, um, but I've started using it more again. You sort of go through phases with the mould, don't you, doing different, uh, using different moulds. But this, I think peonies have always been popular. So I'm using our sugar paste which is either marshmallow or vanilla, Ooh, which Carol <laughs> has, <laughs> and Carol quite likes oh, to nibble at. Okay. You can just sort of put your paste 
in to see if you've got you think you've got enough that'll probably be too much but I'll show you how to take it off once you've molded one and you've got the right amount you can weigh it or on the leaflet with the mold it will usually have the weight of the paste needed to put into the mold okay so you just make it smooth flatten it out pop it in you'll see me doing this a lot <laughs> yeah. tonight because my hands are just uh, very sticky so I just started to push in if you feel the paste go sticky put a little more corn flour on the back I always use corn flour in the molds some people will use uh, white vegetable fat like Trex but I would rather use the corn flour because when it comes when the paste comes out you can then brush the powder colors straight on without waiting for the Trex to dry so you see I'm pushing it right in there's only just a little bit too much so what you need to do is just push it to the corner so I sort of pinch and push like that so you've got it nice and thin at the edge there to take it off and I just use my thumb to take it away like that okay so the paste whatever mold you're using the paste should be level at the back not domed or curved just nice and flat and level and not going over the edge anywhere make sure you've pressed really hard okay it will not this paste with these molds will not stick it's they ready to come out they don't stick yeah they there's don't. no need now to go around loosening it around the edges either now all watch very closely just turn it over and with this the peony or the rose i just bend it in half with my thumbs on the back oops and it comes out okay so you can leave it like that but what i like to do is frill the edges and um, i'm just going to pop it onto here so i can turn it around without touching the flower all the time because it's so warm i don't want to uh, soften it so what i do i just pinch the petals like this to thin them and i'm not being too fussy or particular really <laughs> just wherever I can get to them. I don't touch this outside edge, that's slightly different. I'll show you that after I've So we've got a great audience, Karen, we're over 300 people. Oh, wow. wow, yeah. Oh, that's great. Which is great. Yeah. Um, I've just been asked about the clear rolling pin. I've still no news on the clear rolling pin. I will put it on my list to phone in tomorrow. I think I'm going to have to get the machine and start knocking them out myself. <laughs> 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 right, so now I've, I've pinched the petals and they look a bit flat now, don't they? So put some corn flour on your finger, put your finger behind the petal. This is a veining tool. I'm sure Carol will have veining yeah. tools of some shape or form. They do. Yeah. And I'm just rolling it against the paste on my finger, but do make sure your finger isn't sticky. Keep putting the corn flour on and turn like this. Okay, you can do a few layers on the one side before turning if you want to oops if anybody's got any questions now is a good time to ask <laughs> because this might take me a few minutes it's still quicker than doing a peony than definitely absolutely yeah and i mean it's not a competition winning peony or anything it's a peony it's a those sort of people who ask you for a wedding cake and say, how much will it be for? <laughs> <laughs> well, Karen, what we haven't done is we haven't showed them those fantastic cakes behind. Oh, no. No, they're, they're, they're on. on. Oh, well, we can right, do let's that. Let's do yeah. that one first. Yeah, you could do that now if you want. Maybe I'll, um, I'll do this. Or shall I bring them over? Is that better? Or? So, Laura, the Curly Sweet Stamps will be back in stock at the end of next week. We are waiting for a very large order from Amy. She's hoping to get it all dispatched this week. It's that large, it has to come on a pallet because um, postage is a nightmare from Ireland. So basically we've gone sink a ship. We're gonna buy <laughs> we're buying a whole load of it in. So if you can hang on towards the end of next week, we should have everything back in stock by the Bountiful. Yeah, we won't know where to put it all, but we'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm nearly done on these layers now. I just feel a bit awkward doing it because I'm doing it at a funny angle. Normally it would be right in front of me, you know, so it's easier. But doing it this way across, I think I'm missing a few bits. So Helen Brown, no, we don't add Tylo to the paste. This is the Karen Davies paste and you don't need Tylo. Okay, it's a fantastic um, paste. 
You can use it for rolling out, it's a little bit firmer than normal, but it's perfect for moulds. It's perfect for Karen's moulds, it's actually perfect for any mould. Karen, you can take it a bit more over there if you want. Oh, can I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's okay. Yeah. 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 So so set you up. Up. No. You're in your position now. <laughs> right, I thought it's would be right now. Yeah, no, no. What I'm doing now is just pinching the petals where they overlap each other. So the top petal overlaps, just trying to pinch that edge. Now I'll take the veining tool again and you frill where you've pinched and then you roll the veining tool like that and you can fluff it up a bit. Do you, can you remember what colour paste you've coloured now? What right, paste when I want a dusky pink, I use um, any pink. What's this, the pink or the lilac? There's a sugar flare, yeah, this is the sugar flare lilac, although it turns out it looks pink, <laughs> with a little bit of dark brown yes. in it. Um, so any paste colour, any, um, so any if you were gonna, gel or paste If you wanted colours. that one for me, then I would say buy the burgundy one from Colour mm -hmm. Splash for a tiny bit. Because yeah. uh, we've used the burgundy Colour Splash ones and they're amazing. They look a pinky colour, but yeah. don't go oh. heavy on the colour. So even though it says burgundy or the Bordeaux, use mm -hmm. the Bordeaux. Both of them, but just a tiny bit, it's just the same. Mm -hmm. Uh, the tool that Karen is using at the moment is a veining tool. It's by Gem. I'll put it on the wish list. It's by PME Stroke Gem. Basically, they're both the same company. They can't make up their mind what they're called. <laughs> um, and what else will we say there? Um, how, can you stick these to the sides of the cake and how do they stay up? Karen's mm -hmm. going to show you her cakes in a minute of where she's got them on the sides yeah. and on the top, so you'll see. Okay, I'll show you them now because that's just about finished. So I've frilled it all over to get that nice frilly peony effect. Fantastic. Okay, I'm just going to, I've done this one at the beginning so it can just set a little bit. And Makes dry. a massive difference by yeah, just, just frilling, it. frilling it out. Yeah, so I can put some colour. Oh, on. I've got one, brought one with me. Yeah, dry it quicker. Yeah. If you, if you put Sit. your flowers onto a foam board, it will dry quicker than leaving it actually on the drum. I'll make sure it's in the draft of the fan yeah. Yeah, through that gap and it might work uh, a bit quicker. So, so, I get more to it <laughs> so what I'll do now is let me just put this paste away and then I'll bring over each of the cakes to show you. So Karen's brought some amazing cakes. Take a look at these beauties. Right, there's two that are very similar here. So which camera should I Me, point it at towards? Yeah, just you because they're it. so tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can oh. push it under that uh, under the head so you can see the top as well. Oh yeah. Um, right. When you've done the side, oh, it's very, very, too very close. close. Yeah, yeah okay. too blurred. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I'll describe what I've got on here. So the peonies, what you can do, you don't have to fill the whole flower with paste. You can make smaller flowers by putting less paste in. So here you see this little one here, I've just done the center here ah. and then still frilled it and softened the edges. And attaching them to the cake, what I've done is put like a little wedge of paste behind the flower and attached with royal icing. It's stronger for something heavy like that. You need um, really royal icing is better than using edible glue. So I've also used on here the twine, pieces of the twine. It's a great way to make lots of leaves and flowers very quickly to fill in in between your larger flowers. We've got the large rose as well and the fern there from the tropical leaves, which I also want to show you later as well if I can. Um, and then on the top, the arrangement on the top with the same flowers, again, I've just put like a cone or a... Um, Think of the shape of it just cones of paste to suit the shape you want to build with them just to give them some support um, and again attaching with royal icing and then the lacy pattern around this tall tier is the brush embroidery the small flowers from the brush embroidery the brush embroidery is a great one yeah it's yeah. nice that one so the next cake i'll bring over is very similar because what i did i made lots of flowers i was carried away one day making flowers and I saw, so this was the first cake I decorated with them. But then I thought, oh, there's a lot left, I'll have to do another one. <laughs> you know, so, and I've had an accident on the way yes. here. The box knocked the top oh. of this somehow and the top's come yeah. off. But um, I will be able to fix that, so it's no problem. So again, it's lots of pieces of the twine, um, the fern, and the tropical leaves, the roses, the peonies. The roses are done with shaded paste. You know, so you put a darker shade of pink in the center of the mold 
and then pale shades towards the outside and then again the brush embroidery as a border around the bottom Okay, beautiful. Yeah, they're absolutely stunning. They're always <laughs> stunning, aren't they? Oh. And it just takes half the time, doesn't oh. it? It's just so oh, easy yeah, to get yeah. them done. If you're making those, and like I said, it's the people who want the cakes, who haven't been to the cake shows, mm. don't know. They, you know, the, the flowers to them, these are perfect because they yeah. don't want to pay. They never want to pay you, do they? they no. for your time or whatever. So what's so next? Time is money. No, that's it. Time is money. Right. So. I'll show you the new one now, the autumn leaves. There's so much you can do with this one. My favourite piece on this is this here. This it's like bare branches, but it's like a tree shape. I think you can show that under that camera. Yeah. 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 Okay, so this one I'm saying is my favourite. I'll show you why. Let me get this. I mean, the first thing you think of is twigs, using it on an autumn mm -hmm. cake, twigs. But here. You can see, see the turquoise. Ah, We've used yeah. it under the sea for like a coral. You see it there in the blue, yeah, and then there in the purpley pink colour. But tell them what else you can use it for, Karen. Ooh, yes, right. I've just done. I haven't brought it with me yet because I think it's too soon to mention the C word. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> but I've been doing. I've been working just on say Christmas. Just Christmas very fast. <laughs> I've been working on Christmas since. April or May, I think. Wow. <laughs> so my head is well into Christmas. Um, yeah, so I've done a cake, a really nice cake. I've made lots of these, and you can mould it sort of slightly shorter as well to get different sized trees. Um, you can cover them in edible glitter, luster. I've done them all in white, some in luster, some in glitter, and just stood them up on top of the cake and around the sides. Um, that's well, nice that'd be great if they can get that mould in Christmas ready trees. Yeah, you show them. Yeah, yeah. And these sort of things, you know, if, you, if you're one of these people who says, oh, I have 15 Christmas cakes to make, you can start making the decorations yeah. really early. Yeah. The main That's thing it. is to store them in cardboard boxes, yeah. not Tupperware, no. just cardboard boxes. Yeah. And you'll have lovely, strong trees. Even our paste will, you know, it will dry hard. He's made them now, <laughs> you know, by December, that they'll stand up on their own yeah. fine. And they still taste yeah. fine, don't they? Oh, yeah, 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 they're yeah. fine. And the expiry date on the paste is, it's about a year and a half, I think, or something. Um, yeah, so you can do your Christmas trees now. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the other the other thing on here that we've used it for, the berries. There's like a bunch of berries on here. So, so let me warn Laura. Laura, Donna and Ryan's told me to tell you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have Donna Ryan from America, yeah. and it can be very stressful sometimes working out the uh, foreign currency in uh, and then how long it's going to get there. Yeah, Aww. and then she gets really giddy and excited yeah. and all this quite a few things. So she said to warn Laura, Aww. she'll be placed on order. Later. <laughs> all right, Donna, I'll be prepared. Aww. Yeah, these berries here. There's like a bunch of berries, which are quite nice. We've also used to do this coral effect here by just moulding ah, them and then yeah. pressing the end of the veining tool into them to get the, uh, the hole in the middle. So that's a really quick way, instead of rolling lots of little tiny balls and pressing the tool in. So that gives you an idea there of what you can do with this. Um, right, the other cake, I don't think I can quite reach this to pick it over, or can I? Sorry, Abby. Oh, yeah, sorry, I should have passed that to you. Right, right. I've come over here so you can look at me over here because every time you answer a question down ah, there, oh, Laura's got the camera right on you there, there. Oh, and uh, you answer me oh, down no, there. No, forget. Yeah, so this is lovely, isn't it? I like this. I love the colours. I, I have to say, Karen, it's absolutely mm. stunning. Yeah, and it's but it's so simple. When you you know when you break it down and look at it, it's just a few of the big leaves. And we've used the rose with like a nice. But I know you've done that as a wedding cake, but I think it looked fabulous on a Christmas cake. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we we'll do the berries yeah. in red, yeah. really dark green leaves. But you know, I can do all white leaves with well. sparkle oh, on yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. That'd be really nice. And of course, the woodland bark at the bottom, yeah. always one of the favourites. That yeah. one. Okay, so. Looks fantastic. That's nice so that's the new mould Karen's brought out, the autumn leaves. There was one cake I didn't bring with me, which is really pretty as well. <laughs> What's up? <that? laughs> you forgot. Well, this, no, well, not that one. This is another one I just thought of with this here, these leaves here. This one just done in, in yellow and painted gold. Yeah. And just 
sort of draped oh, on the side of the pin. That nice, would be really, really effective. Do you think right. you'll be able to get one of those out of there? Because we can paint it yellow and gold. Yeah, yeah, we should yeah. be able to. I have yeah. coloured yellow. All I'm worried about is the heat. <laughs> We've got the fan on. Can you feel the fan over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can actually. It is nice. It is nice. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to put plenty of corn flour in because, like I say, it's so warm tonight and so soft and sticky. I would probably, because of the weather now, I would be tempted to put some tilo into that before moulding it. Just to hold it and um, harden up quicker. Yeah, yeah. It is so warm though, isn't it? It's oh, lovely. It is. I don't know if lovely is the right word. <laughs> we're, we're never happy us, Brick. I know, I know. You know, we go on holiday no. and it's not hot enough. No. no. And then we're here in our own country and when it is hot and we're having it yeah, warm, we yeah, don't like the hands now are just so clammy. Yeah. How do you think they get on abroad when they live abroad? I know, right? I know. And they deal with it all the time. They don't have to deal with they it now and again. Think, what are they moaning at? Exactly. <laughs> And Maria's right. cold. Oh, Maria. Yeah, I know. She, yeah, she had a sweater on tonight. I know, but she? we sat in our new office and the sun was on her. She oh. sat under the window as well. Yeah. And the sun was on her. She was still cold. Yeah. Mind you, this oh. afternoon she'd warmed up. She <laughs> allowed me to open the windows. Oh. <laughs> well, like if, you know, me doing this now, it sort of makes me think, oh, it's so hot. I can't, you know, and it's so thin, the stem. And the paste is softer than it usually is. So if this works, shows how good the moulds and the paste actually are. Yeah, absolutely. So, you see I'm just working into each leaf and then I can see this, it's gone over here so if I just push that in and up, clean it up as I go, press it into the next one because I mean that's far too big as you can see. I'm just going to go up and take some of that off anyway now before I get it out of the way. We're being told lots of high humidity today. That's the problem. Um, yeah. Um, can the autumn leaf mould be used for Christmas? Of course, it'd be beautiful for mm. Christmas, won't it? Yeah. Karen's got lots of inspirational ideas for Christmas. So if you want it, I'd grab it now because when she's back here showing you next time, you'll be wanting to jump on it straight away. <laughs> and then the autumn leaf mould, it's got that... Um, it's got that one that you've just done the coral with that you can do Christmas mm -hmm. trees with as well, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. But like I say, you know, if you do, if you know you're going to have lots of cakes to do for people, for friends and family, for gifts, whatever, there's nothing to stop you starting making decorations. You know, I'm going to go that way with this excess paste, I think. Take it off there. Bit more corn flour on. Yeah, just anything you make, just put in a cardboard box. Nikki King says it's very therapeutic watching you do that. <laughs> you do get in the zone, yeah, though, don't you? It's yeah, not you for do. me. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> No, it is. It is really, isn't it? Faye Oops, Whelan, hi from happening. the Wirral. She's a oh, local no. girl to you. Faye Whelan. Faye Whelan, I know the name. She just says name. hi from the Wirral, so yeah. she's local to you. I'm sure. I've You're on the Wirral, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So we're really pleased to get Karen here because she has been moving warehouses over the last few weeks. How's it going? I see Barry oh. got his bike in there. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's parked in there. At the, uh, he, he actually went to work on it this morning. Right. So it's, uh, yeah, it's great. It's a great space. A big improvement on the other one that we had. Um, it's all... The, the other units we had were separate, you know, so we had a separate packing um, and dispatch warehouse, a manufacturing, well unit, not warehouse, um, and a workroom, classroom, so they were all divided, you know, with walls, yeah. so this is one great big, big open space, big is space it? with yeah. some small rooms off, you know, for the office, and um, our cake room. So we're already nice getting requesting, room. Karen, for you to yeah. be back for Christmas. Oh, right? definitely. You've only been here half an hour. Definitely, hey, definitely. We had it with Marion on, was it? Yeah. Was it was Marion on Thursday, Thursday, wasn't it? Yeah. Thursday. And we were going mad yeah. to get Marion in. Oh, no. So I've had to work on Marion about we've coming back got, just doing a sugar demo. I can't say what they are. Demo. I can't say what they are yet, but we've got some of our most... Oh, 
favourite moulds. <laughs> okay. wow. so, yeah, and what you can do with them is so good. It's something really different that... Karen's got herself organised because Karen yeah. is about to become a granny again. Yes. So yes. in September, she wanted to make, when we release, everybody releases all their Christmas stuff. Karen's going to be busy with a new grandbaby. So yeah. she's got herself super organised, as she was telling me in May. Yeah. It's April, May this year, you were telling me, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're so, working on the Christmas things yeah. because Alice is going on maternity leave very soon. So, uh, yeah, we have to get Christmas done and dusted. So, like I say, we've got, I think it's five new moulds coming out. I'm not sure, I don't know the exact date yet. Um, we're busy sort of getting videos ready now and yeah. being really, you know, ready for Christmas <laughs> very early because of this little baby. Um, so yeah, what we've done is I think something a little bit different, and I, don't know, I can't say too much. Don't say <laughs> I'll give the game away. I can't. Don't say any more, Karen. Before, so, before you know it, it'll so, be copied. Yeah, I'm just so well. That's it as well. That's Stay strong. It. I'm just so um, so excited about them because you can do so much. Now I've started. I'm talking without explaining this. I'm pushing it out very gently because it's so, so like much. I say, so warm, and the edges of this are very very thin. I can just see a tiny little edge there. Lots so of congratulations to, coming your way. Just tidy that up. If you can't see anything like that, just tidy it up with the resin tool. And you can, if, if I pick that up now and put it on the foam pad, the thing with this one is because it is very delicate, you know, you do, you are best probably to stick it straight on the cake now. Yeah. Okay. You would probably turn it over, put a little tiny bit of glue on each leaf and attach it straight to the cake rather than sort of painting it and then it being half dry you yeah. picking it up and it breaking because yeah. you know you can see how thin those little edges are okay so then that can be painted like we say painted gold to put lovely um just gold leaves we've done a very simple cake just with these on with a couple of little flowers it's really really pretty Yep, so five new moulds for Christmas. They're not coming out yet, mm -hmm. so hang on. <laughs> We've got autumn leaf here to flog you. What I'll do, I'll do, I'll just do this little leaf here. So I'm quick, I'll do the little leaf, then I'll do one of these in white so you can see what it looks like as a Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it too soon yeah, to do Christmas that. trees? No. I think it'd be great to see it used as something else actually as well, because I think yeah. the autumn leaves is yeah. beautiful for so many like, like with your roses and peonies, which you're going to show us, mm. but it's nice if you can get some yeah, extra yeah, out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, some people might think, oh, autumn wedding, how many autumn wedding cakes? I don't need it unless yeah. I get asked for an yeah. autumn themed wedding cake or whatever. But like I say, there's different things you can use it for, you know, for under the sea cakes, Christmas. Now, you see this, anything like these large flat leaves, like on the tropical leaves, if you make your paste flat before it goes in, that's better than just doing this, you know, rolling a ball. And popping that on, you can see yeah. why can't you give yeah. you a head yeah. start? So plenty of corn flour and start to press it in. Carrie, can you just push it up a tiny bit? Yes. No, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, that's perfect. Forget sometimes. No, no, don't worry. Talk and demonstrate. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> can't <worry>. multitask. <laughs> so just pushing it into each part. Of, ah, now we see that. Now, it's great that the icing comes out so easy. <laughs> it is. It sometimes is. you don't but want it to. Sometimes it's a disadvantage if it's hot, <laughs> sticky weather. And I don't, you've got to be careful. With some of them, you can get it back in and you'll be fine. Some of the molds, you just start again. If it comes out on your fingers, you would need to start again. But I think we might get away with this. Let's get some corn on the back. So Elaine Green says, why can you not just roll the paste into the mold? You can, but it's going to spread. You haven't got that control like you have with your fingers yeah. to clean up the edge as you go. It's not a big pad mould. It's not no. like you're doing the bark over there or yeah, yeah. one with of those, the, is yeah. it? This the is individual ones, things. The bigger ones, like the ornate pearls, yeah, the roll flowers, it in. roll it in, definitely. Okay, so that's ready to come out. And you can see that it's loose, can't yeah. you? Well, yeah, we don't even have to turn it yeah, out. Just no. tip it out. Perfect. And if you dry that on, you can scrunch up some kitchen foil or kitchen paper, you can get yeah. a nice shape with them. Yeah, do you want some kitchen paper? Okay, I have got some there, yeah. but I'll show you, shall I dust it first with some colour? Mm -hmm. And then I was going to do some white, I'll do a white one more time for the. Uh... So, what colours have we got? Let's have a look. 
lots of brown. But I know you said about doing like an autumn themed cake, but we yeah. had, uh, we've seen quite a few on the community page where it's children's cakes with animals and things like that. Aww. And that's yeah. quite a cute idea, you know, with yeah. the leaves and mm. things. Yeah, yeah. So again, it's yeah. just adapting it to whatever you need to use it for. It's just oh, thinking yeah. differently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is a lovely cake Alice did with a fox. Foxes are very ah, in at the yeah, moment. They are. Oh, yeah. little, she did a knitted fox and then used these. Oh, might still have a little bit of green, touch of green on it as well. <clears throat> Use your brush, Carol. No, carry on. Am I going to be in the way? No, no. I was just making sure I was So, the another. powder colours, <laughs> I always dip in the powder and tap it into the lid, then brush it onto the paper. I always get the squeaky <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Oh dear, I need to bin this chair. Uh, Every week I get the squeaky one. I mean, it's now to do with my fat form, of course. Oh, definitely that's chair. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do it with the green. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I've just brushed a tiny little bit of green on there. As though it's just fading, just dying off. Or I've picked a brush with some luster on it, but not matter. Okay, again, rub it in really well. Yeah, it's got a lot of luster, <laughs> I didn't realise. <laughs> So we have a shiny autumn leaf <laughs> and then tell. this nice rusty orange colour as well. Oh, it's nice. Oh, that looks that. lovely. It's very it nice. Isn't that lovely? Really does nice. Good? Yeah. yeah. It does look really pretty. Yeah, what colours nice. you use there then? What right, that one. <laughs> have a nice brush. <laughs> it's this squirrel brown. Oh, yeah. So Ooh, a nice isn't name. It? Yeah. Do you have nice names? These, yeah, don't yeah. these are the one? It, yeah, Kitty Knows Pink. I know, That's I like that one, Everybody Kitty Knows Pink. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, Kitty Knows <laughs> Pink. And the brown I used was milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Tap that out because there's a bit of luster on the brush. And the green, which I thought was going to be a little bit too light, but it isn't. I think it looks really nice. That's green apple. Oh, very appropriate. Okay, so get rid of that. And covered in brown now we might have a dirty Christmas tree <laughs> a bit grubby so Sophia Owen says she absolutely loved your moulds and she's oh, done many wedding, cake, wedding cakes with your birch mould yeah. and it's perfect oh. every time oh sorry sorry okay Kevin um, Brown has fell in love with your awesome leaf mould oh. now have you got a luster carol I have got lusters. Would you want shiny, shiny, um, yeah. shiny ones? Just yeah. up there, shall I? Pearl white. <laughs> just pop in there. Right, right. Then pop it here. Just sorry about the noise. Yeah. Just banging out the on the right hand side. There you go. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. So. Oh, there should be one in there. Thank you. Yeah. Let's find a nice shiny white. Oh, that might be nice. That's that will give a little bit of green, green on it. Yeah, yeah green shimmer. Yeah. And it's called Shell. Is that Nate? Nurkup. Nurkup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've had this discussion many times. I don't know. That, but, um, <laughs> we just pale, say Shell Green now. Pale we green. It. Shiny yeah. pale it green. It means mother of pearl. Uh, That's what it means. Basically, on a dark <laughs> colour. If you put it on a dark colour, yes. it changes colour altogether. Yeah. yeah. So oh. on a white, it'll give you a nice shimmer. Yeah. But on a brown or a black or a yeah. dark red, it will give it a completely different colour. So what I'm doing is putting it straight into the mould. Because when you put the shimmer powders in, I think there's already green on this brush. Yeah. It might look slightly <laughs> different. <laughs> Should have got a have you just used it for that green? That Not that one, no. no. It's a different one, but it's, it has got green in. But I'll brush it over as well. Yes, yeah, so there's probably I've probably put more than I would normally in because I've... I've don't know what colour's going to come out. <laughs> okay. So this now, what I do is just flatten the paste out like this, and I'll just rub away where I can feel through. That you know, you can feel a piece of the mould like there, for example. I just rub the paste away. Push in. working up again there's far too much so I'm just going to work that up and off to take away some of it that I don't need and then work on the detail and it's probably best to work along one side and up and take it off at the edge and then the other side and up so yeah you see there I'm just rubbing away 
taking off the sticky hot paste. <laughs> I mean this again, this would benefit from a little tylo powder in in this weather. Yeah. Oops. And I'm usually much quicker than this with it. Okay. And turn it round and work the other way now. And I do find with this one it's quite forgiving. You know, if you don't clean it up very well, you don't really notice. You know, I'm sort of rubbing away at these pieces so that you can see the gaps between the branches. But if you sort of miss a little bit or leave a bit on by mistake, you hardly notice with it. Glitters, do you have Carol? Do you have anything that would go nice on this? Uh, well, it doesn't matter some, now. Just got just some just... new glitters behind yeah. Shelley there mm. from the Bling Bling Magic Colors. Do you want to try that? Oh, I haven't seen and them. And they're they're yeah. really shiny, so it'd be a great way oh, to try yeah. them. Yeah. That so might be nice. when Shelley, when you, Shelley's finished filming, yeah, okay. we can get those out. Okay, so that's ready now. And maybe we can have an experience like we had with on Marion. Uh, but Marion, did you see that no, on Thursday? I was out. There's this new velvety stuff over there, and you spray it, oh. the cocoa butter or whatever it is, oh. and it's meant to look like, it's like a foam, but gives you yeah. a velvet texture. Oh, I know. I've so seen that. I, it's meant to go straight oh. onto the buttercream cakes, I yeah. think. Yeah. I don't know yet, I'm gonna have to try it again, yeah. but we yeah. put it straight onto sugar paste. Ooh. Well, it all bubbled up and looked great, and then disappeared beyond our eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. oh. Right, so you see this, it's so detailed, isn't it? And, you know, a lot of people would be a bit scared taking this out now. You know, mm. I hear a lot of people yeah. you know, at the show saying, oh, I put my mould in the freezer and, you know, all that. Yeah, I don't never, know why they do that. No. Never, ever. If your paste is good and your mould is good, you yeah. don't need to. No. And you think how long it would take you. If you need to make ten of these to do a nice woodland no. scene yeah. and you've got to keep putting the mould in the freezer yeah. before you can take the paste out, it just defeats the object, totally. doesn't it, really? So I'm just going to turn it over and bend that back. Ooh! Wow, <laughs> wow, we like that. So it has got some shimmer on it. Let's see if, I, if it... Yeah, it has got a little bit, but like I said, there was a bit of green on the brush, so... It's... Um, that is really pretty. It's showing up. It, it is really looks pretty. Very, yeah, Christmassy. So now you can brush it with glue, or spray it with water, and then sprinkle on some sparkles just behind you there shelly just behind the sign sugar and crumb sign oh, just yeah. there can you see oh, them oh, I know so you can open them up yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you the gold that. as well this well we can show everyone yeah. can't we oh, yeah. get I love and they're 100 edible yeah i love these right. i've got these actually i just yeah. forgot the name <laughs> i forgot the name but i'm a bit worried now with the fan look at that <laughs> oh <laughs> they're really sparkly oh. aren't they Gosh. Yeah. Right. But what should we do? Was the glue somewhere? Yes. A little bit of glue. Um. So we sell these on our website. They've not been put in the wish list because we didn't know we were going to use them. But we will put them in terrible very the shortly. Surprise, surprise me, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Every time we go. Sorry, right, everyone does it. Oh. Well, there was messaging messaging you, wasn't I, saying, what, what do you like me to do? What should we do? <laughs> it's a bit sort of in between, isn't it? Sort yeah. of summer, because summer wedding cakes, most people, if there's still wedding cakes to do for the summer, the bride's already chosen what she wants for her wedding cake. It's too soon to do, oh, I'm doing Christmas now. It's no, no. too soon, <laughs> really, to do anything Christmassy. But hopefully that will do. Now, with this, um, I'm not sure... Really, some grease. I always think with things like this, greaseproof paper. Yes. With, and you need to sprinkle you, it over. Yeah. If you fold. Do you want me to get you a little pan? And what I'll do? Shall I just sprinkle a little bit on and not yeah. do, not go mad? Let me give you this pan, because then you can pour it all over yeah. it with this, and then I can get it back in. Yeah. What I do? I get greaseproof paper, fold it in half, so you've got a yeah. nice sharp crease. 
Okay. So just pour what you want on there, and then I yeah, can pour it away after. Yeah, hopefully back in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I'm only going to sprinkle a little bit. I'm gonna just, just take. Yeah, so just, just take. put it straight in the thing. We can. Oh, it's a little snowing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Wow. Beautiful. Really? See, it's different again, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to throw it on, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's really oh, nice. Right. Oh, you throw a bit of gold on there as well. Oh, some gold as <laughs> well. Yeah, okay. Let's go for it. Nice. Let's see, bling bling gold. Amazing. It looks nice then, white and gold together, doesn't it? Yeah, it will actually. I've got a glittery dress now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're like are everywhere now. Oh, I'm not bothered by it. Ooh. That looked good, yeah. There's going to be glitter on everything, isn't there? Doesn't that look lovely? Going to no, go over really it all nice. over your face. Oh, doesn't that look different? I like that. You can see the white as well, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. That looks really great. What do you think of that, guys? Gorgeous. How fabulous is that? And it's all 100% edible as well. So it's on our website. I'm just popping it in the wish list as we speak now because I have got my laptop here so that anything that Karen oh, surprises much, me with yeah not much waste there either no, no not at all wouldn't know so I'll move those over there out of the way and then we could start what should we do now the twine or tropical leaves buttercream flowers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get them everything. all out everything, everything. Karen. should we do the twine yeah so this is Karen's new mill that she released in the summer. Now, what we thought was, when we got to the social morning, we actually thought, you know what, we'll show you guys a demo then. But unfortunately, it was our first demonstration morning and we didn't get it quite right. So Karen's back to do it for you guys properly now because it was a bit dark and a bit all over the place. So <laughs> nice, light and bright. This one is amazing. And I think you can use this with any flowers. So if you're going to use it for your weddings, you can use it at Christmas with your Ponsettiers. Can use it with any flowers. Karen's going to use it with the buttercream flowers mold tonight as well. So fantastic. Now, um, I'm going to just show you how to get the coloured paste into the little buds that are on this. But I'm not going to do that to put the twine around the cake because it will take too long. But just in case anybody wants to see how to do these, it is more time consuming. <laughs> you have to do just little pieces and pop them in. See that even that's too big. Pop them into each flower or bud like that. And if you need to push it in more, push in with a bone tool. You can see that bud there is slightly bigger, so that's a bigger piece of paste. And so on. Okay, like this. And then as long as the paste is still sticky enough and you haven't used too much corn flour or icing sugar on your fingers, when you put the green paste over the back, it should stick okay. Right, okay. okay. Yep. So anyway, that's what you do before you put the green colour in. Okay, so I'm not going to do that now because, like I say, it will take a little bit too long. I'm going to just mould mold this about two or three times. And you don't have to do the whole length if you find that tricky. You can just do smaller pieces because this board we're going to do, we're going to do some nice flowers, you know, and a big garland round, yeah. round the outside. So Wendy Hogarth says she's missed the flower she really wanted to make. Oh. Don't worry, Wendy. <laughs> as soon as we're finished, you can watch the whole Facebook Live back. It will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page. And then it all goes, also gets transferred over to YouTube as well. So you haven't actually missed anything. You can just watch it back at your own leisure. That's a good thing with actually going live because you can come mm. back, you watch it now, join in all the banter and the fun, and then later on just go and watch it peacefully. Yeah. Turn the sound off and just watch. Okay, I'm just working again from side to side, pushing into the leaves. Need a little bit more paste on the back there. And if you find you, you know, you've got too much paste, you can take it off as you go along. You don't have to work it all, you know, like this into the middle and up to the top. Mm. You can go off the side with each leaf. I've used a nice pale green paste 
Yeah, that is a lovely colour, that. Mm -hmm. It's just a, any, what colour would it be? Like a spruce sort of green? Yeah. Well, that there, if you used um, mm -hmm. Colour Splash Pistachio, but just yeah. a tiny mm -hmm. bit, you'd get the same nice. colour. Yeah. The pistachio colour is actually my favourite colour uh -huh. out of the greens, and I use it all the time. Mm -hmm. But if you just use a tiny bit, you'll get that. Let's get some cornflour on my fingers. Now, I know there's too much here, I can see there's far too much there, so instead of trying to go up that way, I'm just going to take it off at the side over here, it'll be easier. Okay, and again, that's now ready to come out, so I'm just work my way down, check everything's clear around the edges, and then just turn the mould over and peel away. Okay. Now that's going to go on the board, isn't it? The round board. So that will yeah. go straight on, really. I could dust it now, then put it on. But again, it's very tiny. There's a little tiny join here. So you've just got to watch. It doesn't start to dry, mm. and then you move it. And it um, then doesn't go on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of move slightly to the side. And Carol's going to use the sweet stamp Thanks. in a minute. <laughs> while I make some more flowers to go onto the board. So if I move these off to the side, do you have to take over? Yeah. Carol? That's fine. When you're ready. Yeah. And I'll just get some, uh, take these pastes over here. Some food oh. some. So Karen is actually just going to nip over and make some more. So rather than you keep watching her take everyone out, but the board needs um, the sugar stamp, uh, the sweet stamps um, going on them. And so we're going to just take off the cling film. So you'll wonder why we've got cling film on there. It's because we uh, rolled the board out earlier and we want to keep the paste soft. Um, when using the um, sweet stamps, you can use a pickup pad, tacky pad if you've got the tacky pad, or you can just place them on. So I'm just going to place them on all the time. That, I find that easier for me. So we're going to use the sugar and crumb set. I think we'll do the same word. Should we do thank you just the same? Yeah. Make it easier. So the reason we're demoing on a board is so that we're not decorating a cake. But just imagine that this is the top of your cake. Yeah. So um, we're going to use a little bit of sugar paste here. So uh, get the words out, and I'll have to look at the words again to, so I know how to spell them, I know. So I, you just make your sugar paste a little bit tacky, okay? So we're going to get the tea out. So the good thing about the, um, the sugar and crumb set, you get everything in it. So you get the uppercase, the lowercase, the numbers, you get some additional vowels, so you get two A's in the lowercase, two E's, two O's, um, you get two V's two U's, yeah, two I's, yeah, so you get two of the vowels. So let's just, so we want a H, let's just see. I can't see with my glasses on, I can't see with my glasses on, I can't see with them on. So, thank you, so I'm just gonna put that there. Thank you. So you'll see that the, by putting the sticky paste on, it just comes out nice and easy. So we're just gonna put this one on, thank you. And then we're going to have a big one, eh? Yeah. And we've got the, and we need a U. Where's the U? Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there we go. So I don't ever use the tacky pad or the pickup pad. The pickup pad is. So the pickup pad is this, okay? And what this means is, is that, so this here comes off. So you pop your letters there, so you have it facing you, you pop your letters there, no reason to put your letters back to front or anything. In fact, you're gonna want me to do it, aren't you? I know, you're gonna want me to show yeah, me. Yeah, they are. Now you've said it, Carol. <laughs> I know. And I'm let's off doing it. The sugar and crumb set is back in stock. It came in today. So, we'll just move them onto here. Can you see that okay, Laura? Yeah. So 
So you just place it on here. If you want to go around, then you go around there or you go around there. We're just going to do it like this. Place it up, and we're going to pop the U on there, so that's the Y. So you don't have to worry about putting your letters back to front or anything like that. So you take this bit off, and then we get the tacky pad. Sorry, it's got a new name now, pickup mm -hmm. pad. So we've got the pickup pad, and then so it's the jelly side, okay. So you just stick that on there, make sure they're all on, and then you'll see that they're on. Yeah. yeah. Can you see that? Yep. Perfect. So they're not on there, so don't throw this away. Some of you have, don't. <laughs> it's the vital piece of equipment. So then you'll see that it's on there, it's not falling off. God, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> all right. There we go. And then we're just going to press it in. Now your indentation is entirely up to you on how deep you want to go. I am too heavy handed, I always go too deep. You just need a light indentation, okay? Perfect. And then we start to paint. So I haven't had a go at the flooding method. So I'm going to have a go, I prefer to hand paint. So what we're going to do is, we are gonna pop some ruby into there. That colour's beautiful. Yeah. So we're going to pop some ruby in there. We're going to pop some dipping solution in. Let's get my brush. All right, I'll have to take my glasses off girls. Mm. So are you okay there, Karen? Sorry, Sharon, yes, do you want to get over here? Maybe it on this side. Yeah. So I might have made this just a bit too watery, don't worry. If you're wondering why I've done it in the lid, what you can do is afterwards you let the lid dry out and when it's all dry, you just scrape it with the back of the brush and then stick it, stick it back in the pot. So we're just going to go... Well, I am quite nervous. <laughs> you're not watching me paint. Nothing like being put on the spot, is there? <laughs> no. So... You know when people put their hands under like that? Yeah, support. I can't do it like no. that though, can you? See, that makes me shake even more. <laughs> How do you paint, Karen? Do you, do you put your hand underneath? Yeah, you've got do to you? have something to rest on, haven't you? Yeah, but you see, I, yeah. I don't know what to or rest something, on. something um, like a cake dummy at the side of you. Yeah, I think I'll do it. I'll get a, I'll get a um, kitchen roll. Not a kitchen roll, but it's easy See, that's the great thing when you're live in the kitchen, okay, you see it as it is. Now, as you all know, I am no professional, so I generally wing it on the night. It's my claim to fame for winging, winging everything, <laughs> and uh, anybody who watches me knows that's exactly what I do. Liz Mosley said, there's only 300 people watching, you don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> you see my shakes go even more now. <laughs> It just makes you hotter and hotter though, when yeah. it's warm anyway. I love it, those people it who can... Something goes slightly <laughs> not how you want it to, yes. and you go even hotter. Yeah, start feeling yourself sweating and everything. Yeah. And you just can't cool down then, once you start. <laughs> Alright, so we're feeling the concentration in the room. Now. <laughs> concentration? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I might have watered this too thin, actually. So... So when Karen's ready, I will move back out of the way. Yeah, I can come back any time. <laughs> whenever, you, whenever you think, ah, oh, right. okay. <laughs> Just let me finish this word while, that, while I'm on the roll. Yeah, just tell me when you want me back. What happens is, you do, as you start doing it, you start to mm -hmm. gain confidence again. 
You'll be wondering why Karen's not doing this because she didn't want to do it in front of you either. <laughs> <laughs> she quickly volunteered me for it. Believe me, I did not volunteer. I didn't bring the cake with the sweet stamps on. She oh. did. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, Denise said, so the room has gone all quiet. Yeah, yeah, we're, all yeah. Can we're all concentrating. We don't want to disturb Carol. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, you've got lots of positive comments so far anyway, Carol. So. so you have to put a couple of coats on. I've made this first one a bit watery. So I am going to go away and thicken it up and come back to you. So I'll come back to you in a minute. I'll let Karen take her place. And I'm going to go around here with that one. There you go. But that just shows how easy it is to yeah. get them on the stamp. Yeah. So and the first there. time you've done that as well, that's I know, like me. I know, so I didn't want to do that tonight. I wasn't going to oh. do that tonight because I was worried about it. Oh. Right, so I'll get round here. Okay, right. Uh, start to colour the leaves. Karen Naylor. <laughs> Crikey. Do you know what Karen Naylor's just said? At least you're not munching. I'm not eating again on these lies. Do you know I never get a chance to eat during the day? Yeah. I'm always busy. The girls will tell you, yeah, you end yeah. up eating a bar of chocolate for your lunch, rubbish, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at night time, when there's a demonstrator in here, I eat my tea. Yeah, but unfortunately, you. I answer questions with my mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> That's what gives it away. So there's Aww. no food going on in this kitchen again. <laughs> Back my tea. I was eating it when Aww. Karen got here. Aww. What I might do is put these on the board. Oh, you still... Yeah, no, it's fine. As soon as you finish that, I'll have them... Um, I'll that yeah. and I'll put them straight on the board. Because, like I say, the, the more they dry, the more chance there is they'll break. Yeah. So the better going I'll straight try as on. as quick as I can. Don't worry. The better going straight on. Okay. So while Carol's been doing her stuff there, I've been making more of the twine. Okay. I've just run out of green. <laughs> Pale green. <laughs> so that's as many as I can make. Um, and I've just started to mould some of the little flowers that are on the mould here. Keep forgetting everything. So um, I'm just doing some pink here and I've already made some lilac. Okay. I, know, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself recently. I've been eating on yeah. here for two years now. <laughs> when I do the little flowers like this, instead of passing the cornflower in all the time, because then you're getting it everywhere and it's a bit of a waste, what I do, I'll just make this one and I'll show you it sort of tidies up the place at the same time really you just take a piece of paste and where there's cornflower on the board I just rub it on like that and there should be enough there for it to come out and I just bend the mould to take it out flip it over okay so I've done some lilac ones as well and um, there's also little gypsophilia here where have I put oh some white this will do Oh, sorry, that's berries. That one's little berries. And there's a little jip here. Oops. So this is a little tiny yeah. frilly, frilly flower. They're really cute. I think they're nice. So just put a few in. So again, you can just put your cornflower on to the paste rather than in the mould. Or you can do that. Pack the bag. Pop it on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because you see the difference now, see if I think it's a tiny little flower and I do that, it's oh, all over here yeah. as well, you see. So. Yeah. Oops. And that's the thing with your mould though, Karen, it's mm -hmm. not just one design or one pattern, you get all these little tiny extras. Yeah. yeah. And you don't, I don't think people necessarily appreciate them when you buy the mould, mm -hmm. it's only when you point them out. If there's a gap, or you know, yeah. you, have, you, may, you have your idea, your main idea. Yes. You know, what would go with that? What do people need with that? What would help? Um, <clears throat> because that that saved you another mold or another yeah, two it's molds. Yeah, just better value. Yeah, that, absolutely. Having as much as possible on them, and they are big molds. They're very, they are. They're huge, aren't they? Yeah, really? yeah. You know the weight of them when you yeah. think what's oh, in yeah. them. Yeah. 
for the price. When, They're you know, fantastic. Some people will say, oh, your moulds are expensive, but if you weigh them to see how much silicon actually goes yeah. into them. And the ease of use as well. You've proved, yeah. you know, proved it time and time again. You've been on here so many times, and mm -hmm. we get people, you know, even first time <laughs> viewers saying, I can't use a mould, I've struggled, and then, yeah. you know, yeah. just use one of your moulds once. Yeah. And you know straight away you're never going to have a problem. <laughs> oh. Right, and I'm going to just quickly make some little daisies here as well off the bush green flower mould. This one, is it 13 or 12 flowers? I can't remember uh, now. It's <laughs> <laughs> John's always going Quite a while that since it's yeah. yeah. 12, yeah. isn't there? <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to put in 12 some I count. Paste. Now this daisy, I'll show you something else with the daisy now, I'll just put that in very quickly and just turn it over, bend and it comes out just like that. What you can do is put a small piece of paste in, so you know, not enough, press around the edges like that, but make sure you've done it evenly, okay, mm. so it's the same size gap all the way around. Take it out, you've got a small daisy. Ah. So you see the, the difference in yeah. the size? So it's nice that you can do do that with it. And you can press as hard as you like. It'll still come out exactly the same. So I've got someone asking a question, can you use can you wire your flowers using the moulds? You can. If you let that dry, okay, you could put a cone of paste on the back with the wire in yeah and again let it dry but you know you can be you can really blend it up to the sides or you can just do a, a small cone right. with the wire in so you can do that and the little jip i do these with um wires on if you make like a little bud oh, on the right. end of a wire but flat at the top and just put a little bit of glue on and then when you've done when you've molded it over there now when you've molded the jip you just push it onto the back and right take it out. okay it's, yeah they're yeah. really good very easy so helen brown this mold is called the buttercream flowers um so you'll see there's loads of different Ooh, flower goodness. designs and leaves on there <laughs> Um, so that's available, it's, like I say, it's a Karen Davies um, range and it's available from the Sugar and Crumbs website. Okay, so I've done those very quickly and I'm going to just put these together in a minute. Do you want the board? Not, well, it's up to you. Are you, you ready? Or, yeah? Oh, great. It's, it's not perfect. Not no, don't worry. Here, the first don't worry, because I just want to get the leaves on and I'm going to dust them when they're on the board because I'm scared they might turn break. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How appropriate. Okay, right, so, um, what's this for the glue? Now, if they just come out of the mould, I'd brush the glue straight onto the back, but I'm just going to brush a line of glue around the edge. I wouldn't normally do this because you might see it, you know, if there's any gaps. Yeah. So, I think that was the last one I did, so it's less likely that that will break. I would just brush the glue onto the back there, okay, and then put it on. But that is going to be the last one to go on. So, what you can do when you put these on is you can sort of bend the leaves up a little bit, prop them up, you know, with some kitchen paper, right? Or yeah, whatever. Um, and then they're going to glue there, no, a bit more glue, overlap them slightly. So for do, those who are watching, do remember we are only decorating the cake drum to give you the idea for a top of a cake. So, uh, and that, the reason I keep saying it is because quite a few said when Marion did hers, what a shame to waste it just on a drum, but it wasn't for that, it was mm. to give you the idea for a top of a cake. Karen, can you come Yes, up sorry. Bit? No, it's okay, no, thank you. It. Perfect. There we go. There's lots of other um, flower moulds and things we do. Like the wild meadow is a good one for this mm. because you've got all those nice little thin stems. Okay, I haven't got quite enough there. Shall we use the peony? Mm. Yes. Yes. Why not? Because what I need to do, yeah, that'll fill in a nice big gap. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. 
I'm going to dust the peony and the flowers now. Will that go over well. the U or, or, or should we move it round yes. so it goes to the top? The peony, it will it cover it? It won't cover yeah. it, we'll right. keep it right. Just put it there, it's fine. Yeah, yeah it'll be fine. Okay, right. It matches lovely with the colour of the lettering actually, doesn't mm -hmm. it? So my painting doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look as bad as I think it does, but that's called <laughs> stand back. <laughs> so you know when people say to you, stand back and leave it alone. That's what you have to do, stand Aww. back. Right, this, now you see how quick this is? I'm just putting a, can you see that on the yeah. camera? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Tiny bit of green onto the brush. This is quite a big flat brush. I'm just going into that center vein. I'll just put a bit more on these of each leaf and I'm just doing this very quickly on purpose really so you can see you don't have to spend hours or be very artistic there's nothing artistic about that is there <laughs> but it looks like you know nice and soft you are better see that's a little bit loose there I need to put some glue under that but keep going um, to add your colours slowly you know, rather than putting too yeah. much on, if you don't, if that, if you do that and then just tap it a bit and then go, you'll get, end up with loads of powder yeah. everywhere. So tap it into the lid, rub it into the paper, and then build up the colour gradually. I went a bit heavy-handed there because I'm trying to be quick, so you don't <laughs> get bored and fall asleep in the heat. <laughs> we never get bored. <laughs> We're maintaining a fabulous audience, just under 300, Aww. which is fantastic. Aww. So they're not on holiday. No. <laughs> and YouTube have got a fair few on there as well, so yeah. well done. Yeah. Right, the daisies here, I'm going to use, keep using the green and just go around the centre stamens. You see like Shall that? I? You're right, Michelle. Sorry. So you see just that little hint of green round there. Oh, it and does then, make a massive difference that. Yeah, I've got this nice rainbow dust claret powder colour, which I'm going to use on the peony and the daisies. Oh, that's nice. This looks like a good brush. Flat dusting brushes, if you can get flat. Do you sell them, Carol? Mm. I do, yeah. They come in yeah. sets, those good. ones. Yeah. Flat brushes are so good for petals because you see what I'm doing? That flat edge just catches the edges ah, like yeah. that. You see, and you get that lovely soft edge. Really nice. And I think these daisies will be lovely with a gold centre, yeah. won't they? Painted gold. I must say the cake um, that we showed you at the beginning with this on was by Christina Ludlam. She's been here, hasn't she? Mm, she yeah, has, yeah. Cake and and Christina's fabulous at everything she School. does regarding cake, isn't she? Yeah. Amazing. I've been on quite a few of her classes, mm. they're great fun. She's good, isn't she? Good teacher. Okay. And last but not least. Oh, I missed the green on this one. Look. See the difference? Mm. <laughs> it just doesn't look yeah. does it right, does it? Spot the mistake very quickly. Okay, so Judy Friesen says, how dry would you leave the flowers before you add colour to them? Well, you saw those daisies yeah, go straight away, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Um, because they're not like this peony. I'm going to do the peony. Yeah, sure. Yes. There you go. Is that okay? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um, this really needs to be left long. You can see the petals mm, moving. Soft. Yeah. So I'm being very careful, and I probably won't put as much colour on as I would if it was dry. Okay. You know, as if it was dry. But this yes, can it, catch. Enough. It really depends on the, the piece, then, doesn't it? On the yeah. size, the amount of sugar paste there is. Yeah, yeah. How thick it is. Yeah. And that is a thick flower. But these edges are very thin, obviously, yeah. so that's why you can see they're still bending <clears throat> and soft. 
So I'm just trying to be very light and delicate on, on the flower. If it was dry, I could do it much quicker. Mm. That's fantastic. They look nice done in um, peach with pink on the edges of the petals, or the other way around. Peach with pink on. Right, I'm going to leave it at that really. And then quickly, do we have a gold? There was lustre. You're doing the shiny yeah. ones. Oh. The shiny ones went back in the cupboard. The cupboard is in the cupboard. Sparkling gold looks lovely. Let's have sparkling. I like the sparkling one, yeah. Yeah, sparkling gold. Um, and there's um, there was a paint there's palette. More, there's more there. different solutions there. Yeah, yeah. there was a paint what palette you out, wasn't there? It's here, the paint palette. Uh, yeah, I can't see because yeah. it's clear plastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and again, just going to paint using the lid. centers of the daisies. I could have just squirted the alcohol into the lid. I don't know why I didn't really. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what? Sometimes I do it in a paint palette. Sometimes I do it in a lid. It's a bit mad, yeah, isn't it? I always use the but lids. If, yeah. I think because I saw the big bottle, I thought, yeah. oh, I can't do it into the lid. <laughs> but you can. <laughs> Silly me. Mm. If you put so, them in the lid, you can reuse them yeah, again. Yeah, I always do yeah. that. Yeah. I'm just going to add the set of purple brushes to the comments for a couple of people asking. Um, so this is a set of 10 that we've got. We've, we've got many, many sets of different brushes, all different sizes and shapes. But these ones in particular um, are the purple ones that you'll see that Karen's used a couple of the flat brushes from. Now these flowers, I haven't dusted the edges of them. If I had more time, I would dust the edges just to make them, you know, stand out a bit more. Um, the jip don't need anything doing to them. Okay, so this isn't going to look anywhere near as good as Christina's. <laughs> I think it's looking pretty good at the but, moment. Um, oh, the other thing I need to do is the buds on the twine. Again, I don't know whether I'll get time to do them all, Pardon? but you can just touch the, yeah. the gold. There's different buds. There's a small bud and a large bud, so I tend to do one colour for the small buds, one colour for the large. So you can see I'm doing this very, very quickly. So it's not the neatest. And like I say, it's nowhere near as pretty as Christina's. I think it looks brilliant. But I, I think, do you think she's underselling herself out? It's looking amazing, Absolutely. isn't it? It's, it's wonderful. That makes a bit of difference, isn't it? Fun. And what you got to remember, Karen, everybody yeah. who's watching here isn't at yeah. Christina level. <laughs> okay? They all want to, they just want to do this at oh. home. We're not competing with Christina. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So the colour that Karen was using to just the peony was the rainbow dust range, and it's a claret colour. Right, I'm going to do the other buds with a little bit of red copper, which is quite close. To this sort of burgundy colour I've used. And it's coming out a little bit darker than I would have liked. But can you, when you're ready, Karen, can you just push up a bit? Yes, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Sometimes I do that and I'll think, oh, it's too dark. So then I'll go over it with lust, you know, with plain white lustre. Ah, oh, right. If I think it's too much which I think this might be, but again, I'd probably wait till I put the flowers on yeah. and see what it You'd looks like. You'd be amazing how like. it all pulls together. Yeah. Because I didn't want to spend too long rooting around in the box there looking for the right colour, you know, just look for the closest that mm. I thought would do. Yeah, it, it, they do go paler as they dry yeah. as well, don't they? I do like these fractal colours. 
They love me, aren't they? Yeah, very good. Nearly there. Don't worry, take your time. <laughs> Nobody's worried. Sometimes with the twine as well, I brush the stem, you know, with a little bit of brown. Oh. Whatever. Okay, so we'll start with the big flower. Some glue. So what do we think everyone? It's looking good, isn't it? <laughs> it's looking fantastic. Can you come up a bit, Karen, towards the Sorry, where the gold yeah, dust is? I'm starting right. to fill the board <laughs> with the... Do you want me to move that foam pad? Oh, yeah. Do you need that? No, I don't need sure. it now. Yeah, I'm just thinking of giving you a bit more a bit. space. It's the thing, with cake decorating, you do tend to <laughs> sort of do. get everything out as you need to and then... Do you know what I do that all the time? I think, you know what, I'm going to be ultra tidy <laughs> for five minutes. And I clean this kitchen up. I clean this kitchen up, it's beautiful. The girls will tell you, what is it like? I clean this kitchen up and I think, right, I'm going to be ultra tidy. Before you know it, yeah. everything is out. Yeah. And the same when we do classes here, you know, you get everything out for the teacher and all the students. Yeah. And you come back and all your cupboards are empty. It's like, oh, we just needed that, we needed that. It's everywhere. Beautiful. Oh, the jip as well. If you put a smaller piece of paste in, you get smaller jip mm. as well. So it's actually quite therapeutic. Just play. It's like a little yeah. jigsaw puzzle, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Playing around with them. Yeah, so it's not like I say, no one near like Christina's. You need you need to make a lot more to do it uh, to its greatest effect well we're not doing christina's night we're doing our take this of the christina's <laughs> inspired <laughs> with yeah by exactly. christina and the thing is is everybody else they don't want to all do that they've got to do their own you're just giving them an idea yeah Last, last but not least. I'm just going on anywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> that look great. Anywhere. Oh, wow, what beautiful. do we think everybody? That looks okay. fantastic, Karen. Looks absolutely fantastic. Well done. <laughs> so what do we think everyone? Get those thumbs up. It is it isn't it brilliant that how easy was that all put together? <laughs> fantastic. Very easy. Right now, what are you going to do next? Right, what are you going to do next? <laughs> <laughs> I've done yet. Can't have a rest. Um, tropical leaves and the large rose. That's yeah. it, yeah, super. Finish with the large rose because I've done that yeah. so many times when I've been here. I know, but, but we still love the, it. One of the most popular. Yeah, but we love it. So these leaves, tropical leaves, um, these are great. I, I actually use, where's the buttercream flowers? This flower on the buttercream flowers here makes a lovely sort of tropical flower to go yeah. with them as well and you can dry that shape so okay so to do that really big leaf remember before i said don't just put a ball in to spread out put a flat piece of paste in yeah now i think there's enough corn flour in that by the looks of looks of it so if i just flatten that paste out pop it in i'll put some corn flour on the back now to get it down there, see that little mm. tiny stem, do that, push paste between your fingers like that and then you get enough to push from side to side and down into the stem and then take off, turn it round, push it back up. Okay, you feel it getting a tall, sticky, get the corn flour on. So I'm just going to push it to the sides and off. And as you press, you can sort of feel where the tears in the leaf are, you know, there's gaps. Yeah. Say it's so sticky. <laughs> <laughs> You're warm, I'm freaking frozen next to this fan me. Oh. Are you frozen? <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> Have you heard, we're not complaining about the warm heat at all, are we? No. Frozen us. I don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Poor Karen's I'm working under all the lights. I'm about to get goosebumps on my right, on my right <laughs> arm. Karen's working under all the lights. <laughs> I'm using all the sugar paste. <laughs> great because these leaves you know you might think oh that takes a long time to mold but you don't need very many of no. them <laughs> when they're so big no, you it. get away with two or three you know okay that's ready to come out just make sure the edges are tidy everywhere yeah that's okay and just turn it over there we go voila squashed it a bit getting it out so I'll just shake that again fantastic and leaf. so you would just brush that with some dark green powder okay up the centers around the edges of the leaf whatever now that fern leaf as well there you don't have to do that whole leaf you know it's really big isn't it yeah and um, you can take a small piece of paste like this point it flatten it put it on on the back again and that's the leaf that you've used on the back of those cakes there isn't it yes so on the back yeah. there you've got the sugar twine yeah. haven't you you've yeah. got this fern leaf as well mm -hmm. you've got your peony and you're going to show us yeah. how to make your own and the green on that i used i think it's gooseberry gooseberry color so yeah Sorry. see you've Can got I a short get a, a picture of the back of the cake yeah yeah, yeah. Turn it so the, if you just point out to which leaf it is yeah, uh, there's the fern. yeah. And there's the twine. And there's the twine, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Pretty good. Thank you. So there we've got the, see there, the fern leaf. Mm -hmm. So again, you can just bend the mould and take it off. Okay. And then if you dry that, I dry it in a shape, you know, or bend it a little bit. You get nice shapes and whatever. And then brush dark green up the centre. Okay, so that's your tropical leaves. Now your rose large rose put some cornflour in i've got burgundy powder everywhere <laughs> um, but the good thing is your your um molds can go in the dishwasher as well can't they oh yeah, yeah. i i generally mm -hmm. wash yours in a dishwasher if i've had loads yeah. of powder in them yeah and that gets it out yeah right i find if i, I find if i wash it in hot soapy water not mm -hmm. so much but once they've had a blast in the dishwasher yeah. face down oh. i'll do uh, three shades of paste okay so small piece into the center, into the five petals of the center there. Press really hard, and there isn't quite enough there, just put a bit more on the back. I should have taken that out really, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna. It still feels tacky, so it should be all right. I'm just gonna add some white to this one. Helen Brown, all the dust are sold separately, just simply because Karen's using a variety of different brands this evening. Um, it's also difficult for us to put them in sets because people want to swap one colour out. They've got one colour already, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't necessarily want the whole set just because there are so many. So we, all, we only sell them individually. I will tell you, we used to do them as mm -hmm. sets right in the beginning. And it just turned into a nightmare for exact reasons that Laura said. People would ring up and say, could I have two of that colour? Because I've really got that one and I don't want mm -hmm. that colour. And, I actually only want the half a set. When it was like, oh, for God's sake, yeah. Chinese, buy the quiz, isn't it? Can I swap the sweet and sour So, and no, yeah, it makes the boys in the warehouse completely confused. Aww. They just don't get it. And um, you can end up with that many, that many different bundles. It puts your stock levels all over the place. Yeah. So you see I've gone a shade lighter now. Put that in. I didn't need to put any glue. That feels really sticky with the heat, so I... Can you stop going on about the heat because we're frozen <laughs> <Yeah>. over <everywhere. laughs> It's boiling over here. <laughs> yes, Peggy, the, the moulds can be washed in the dishwasher. Just pop them face down so they don't collect any water. Um, and they're, they're absolutely fine. And, and it also means quality. if you put them on the top tray, put them on the top tray where you put your cups, that's where I lie all mine. And then that big fan thing that goes mm. over your big ones washes them. Do you ever put yours in the dishwasher? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've lightened that again. I'm putting probably twice as much, nearly twice as much paste. Have you got paste one of those new fancy dishwashers now that uh, comes with it? Have you seen those new fancy dishwashers with the new cutlery tray? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, 
Let's just say I've got one and I'm not too impressed with it. Okay. But you know you used to get the, the, the basket that goes yes. in. Well, you don't get a basket now. Oh, right. You get a little single tray at the top. So oh, when my dishwasher comes, I thought, why don't I put the cups in? Yeah. So now oh. I have to pull out this little slim drawer at the very top. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, and you lay the cutlery yeah. off that. Oh, gosh. So this, the top layer, you see they've just done a thinner piece to put on. It might still need some taking off because it is, I, I do think it's domed a little bit in the centre. But I can still take some off. Away. Okay, so that's ready to come out. Turn it over, end in half, and there's your rose, the shaded Fantastic. rose. Okay, yeah. and then you can pinch the petals if you want to, make them thinner. Makes it look less like it's come out of a mould. My first mould that I bought of you, of you was mm. the snowman mould. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that was before I ever started cake decorating, oh, um, and then my yeah. first flower one was that yeah. one. In fact, I think it was the third mould I bought. Yeah. We we're talking about that today. Yeah. Snowman heads were the first ones we did. Were they? Uh, yeah. Well, they're just when amazing. When we first went to they? the NEC, we had it was either five or seven moulds with us, <laughs> and the stand was so small we couldn't get past each other. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to go out. That to sounds the like our stand. Yeah. Yeah. Our first stand. Both move out, shuffle out <laughs> sideways. <laughs> it was uh, so funny. Was that you and Barry then? Yeah, yeah. 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 So this edge this outside edge what I'm doing is just pinching the side of the petal where, where it overlaps the one at the back so side so pinch I'm only making the edges thinner and then just shaping them a little bit and this is this I don't pinch it when I make a cookie but you can use these molds we haven't mentioned the cookies have we do you know what? No. Someone's Mold. literally just commented oh, really? and said. <laughs> <laughs> when I do the cookies with it, I don't shape the petals. I just mould it, yeah. and then take it out the mould, put it on a tray, and bake. Well, when I do my uh, baking day class, we mm. always use your moulds in them. Oh, always. We yeah. use the buttercream flowers, the rose, oh. the peony, and the winter village. Mm. See, that looks nice. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. Yeah, and it probably would have looked nice on the board, but yeah. there's no room for it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah, still yeah, go quite well on there. So I think that's it. Unless there's anything else. Uh, I don't know. Let, let me just let me just we can do another repeat right. with the cakes if you want. Yeah, let's just yeah, do that then. So the what cakes. do we think, everybody? Beautiful. So oh. for the everybody who missed out, let's just get Karen get all these cakes on again. Just one second. Okay. I'm just finishing off the wish list. The wish list. Right. We'll go back to this again. These two that are very similar. They've got same flowers, same leaves on. But just decorated in different, different But I think style. that's absolutely stunning, Karen. Yeah. It is. You, know, you it? see how quick very elegant. they are mm. to make instead mm. of you imagine if you counted all the leaves on yeah. the twine and the buds and everything, yeah. and you counted all the petals on the roses you'd have to make and the peony, yeah. how much quicker it is to just do something. Pretty. And the little flowers on the side, the little white ones, is mm -hmm. from the brush embroidery set, which is absolutely beautiful. That's a new mould recently well, re re released this year. Yeah. Ooh. That's the mould, so you get lots of flowers on it. Yeah. Okay, which I'm camera? Sorry. Above or straight on? Oh, no. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> that that way? Yeah, yeah, I can see it yeah. there. All it's an absolutely lines. fabulous mould yeah. for doing your brush embroidery, so isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's great for things like this. When you think, oh, what shall I do? It looks a bit plain. I know. Brush <laughs> 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 embroidery. <laughs> And the one that I've used the same flowers on, same leaves, just a different way of putting them on again. Is that one there? Okay. The arrangement is just it's beautiful, stunning, isn't it? Absolutely yeah, gorgeous. It's, it's, you know, you put your leaves on in the background first and then put flowers over, mm. over them. So I've just got a lady asking, um, have you wired any of the sugar no. twines? You just, no. just all shaped and Karen, added could to the you cake? just yes. turn that cake round and mm -hmm. just show them what you mean about how you would put a rose on? Do you know? And it, oh, yeah, you can just sort of see there, we'll just through. Show you. Probably. You might see the wedges of paste through the side. Yeah. Right ah, in there yeah. without me just breaking about. them. Can you see can you it? Stick like on your yeah. on. Let's see. A bit of paste. I'll do Sorry it to ruin your cake. Do it at the back here. The rose is still soft, obviously, but what I would do is to put the rose on, 
first of all, I've tried that. So you see, when I say a wedge, it's sort of... Yeah, it goes in the curve of all yeah, the shape, shape of it. it might, yeah, that Probably, I'll do it first and try it without sticking it, you know, with glue or royal icing. And then the flower would be dry, it wouldn't be like this soft. I would check. Yeah, I'd probably want it slightly bigger. And I don't even take it off, I just add more paste to it. And yeah, that'll be about right now. So then I glue it, put it on, or royal icing. And even if you sort of push it out a little bit, it will um, attach the rose. That would be dry and hard, so you could press that against. Right, okay. So she doesn't yeah. want to push it on yet because it's no, still it's soft. No, it's no good yeah. doing it but, now. Um, but that's that one's dry. I know that one's. A, I know that's not the right one. But let's yeah, just it's, that for yeah. A it's, it's not the right one. This one because it's the ruffles. But basically. You know, you just, you need it hard like this mm. before you can yeah, sit it yeah. on. Yeah, and it would be that, because of the size of that, yeah. it would be taller. This wedge of paste would go a bit more up the sides. It is useful if you've got a tiny little edge yeah. to just rest it on as well there. Yeah. And that just, that paste just helps hold it then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you can also, if you take that post up there, you can sit it there, which is what mm. you've done there. Yeah. And um, pop it on the side. Yeah. So okay. brilliant. Good. Didn't ruin the cake that, did it? No. Well done. <laughs> So again, do you remember I've used the autumn leaf, the twig, the twiggy tree I call it, twig <laughs> branch or whatever. Um, so the here. autumn leaf mould. Yeah. So, so it, she's used this one here. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. can be for underwater scenes for the coral. And you can use that one. Yes, the berries yeah. are the coral here, and you just push the tool in one of the tools to make a hole in the middle. So that, you know, it can be coral, it can be a twiggy branch in autumn, it can be a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree covered in glitter was very pretty. You'll also it? see that Karen's got a mould here with the shells on, and that, what's that? It's called Seaside Accessories, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Hey, you get me? Uh -huh. yeah. 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 So you'll see these fish and the shells and everything, they're all in that mould as yeah. well. The other, and a beautiful yeah. starfish. The other pieces here, the other bits of coral, like the seaweed, they're from the... Um, Wild meadow mould. Yes, that's it. Yeah. yeah so, cranky. You've got to adapt. Mm -hmm. yeah. them all. Play with everything. Things. Don't just think you can use it for one thing. Yeah. Play with everything. Yeah. So that is absolutely fabulous. Let's turn that round there. So we can see. And just one more. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, Finally. The I thought you wrote it. Looks nice there, Karen. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. Yeah, and there's the. Of the the autumn leaf mold. I think it's stunning. That. And that's only like, like I said with the tropical leaf. You know, you're making really big leaves, but you only need a few. Yeah. To get a good effect. Yeah. But yeah. there's only two. There's three yeah. on there, isn't there? Yeah, three. And then little ones. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. and four. I think on the bottom of five. Yeah, so, so do we love it? You're getting those thumbs it. out, oh, thumbs up going, are. love outs going, yeah. everything. Fabulous, isn't yeah. she? You Absolutely said, fast. Yeah, you said that for Christmas yeah. as well. You'd just do the berries in red. Dark green for the leaves, maybe put a little bit of holly as well. And yeah. Uh, a red ribbon around the bottom as well. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. Oh, Ooh, they're heavy. <laughs> so, Karen, this side. This side. So, guys, thank you for joining us tonight. I'll just let, 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 let's, show, mm. let, let's show you this one. Right, so we've shown you on a board so that you can put it on the top of the cake. So I don't know, I keep repeating that, but the last slide that Marion did, it drove me nuts. Everybody kept saying, especially when we did the one minute video, so many people oh, kept saying, what a shame, what a shame to do it on a board. <laughs> it wasn't on a cake. So it's just, instead of us making a cake, we're just doing the top of the cake for mm -hmm. you. So uh, fantastic. And I've just slipped this rose on, Karen didn't do it, but it looks great up there, I think, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah, yep. so fantastic. Mm -hmm. So uh, lots of molds to show you there. They're all on the wish list. Um, did we put them all on the wish list? Shelley, I'm saying they're all on the wish list. That'd be good, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're all on the wish list. The colours are on there. And um, big thank you to Karen. So when are we getting you back, Karen? Because we'll wait for a baby, haven't we? Well, yes, yes. Yeah, September, early September. Be so when's she due? Third. Third. Then yeah. two weeks over. Ah! Just in case she's oh, late. No. <laughs> 
won't, she won't. So uh, <laughs> then I'll be chomping at the bit going, Karen, when yeah, are you coming back yeah, with your yeah. Christmas stuff? So we'll make sure we get her back in time for Christmas. Alice mm -hmm. was going to make it tonight, but then she mm -hmm. had an appointment. Then it got cancelled right at the last minute, so we yeah, never got her here. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but good. But thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. um, next week we have Danielle in. So you remember Danielle from the Cussing Caker? She is in next Monday. So I'm going to get her to do something with chocolate drips again and something else. Um, but she'll also show you how to, I think I'll get her to show you how to crumb coat a buttercream cake uh, and crumb coat with buttercream. She showed you how to do it with ganache last time. So I'll ask her if she'll do it with buttercream. Is that okay? And we'll do it straight onto real cake as well. I'm also practicing on a cake as well. So I've got something up my sleeve that I might show you if it all goes well. Ooh, I'll make sure I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> if it don't go well, it'll be Danielle on her own. <laughs> I'll let her get on with it. So I will see you next Monday at 8 o'clock. Thank you, Karen. No, thank you. And um, thank you. we may well be doing an impromptu live later on in the week. John wants me to talk about something. Uh, he wants me basically to show you some more goodies in the week. But uh, we've got to get them together. So don't be surprised if you just see me pop up on your screen later on in the mm -hmm. week. If not, I'll see you next Monday. So that's a bye-bye from all of us. Bye, Laura. Bye, Shelley. Bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye you bye. lot. Bye. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.